The Heritage of Alaska. Brought to you in the public interest by the National Bank of Alaska. Here is your host, Elmer Rasmussen. Have you ever wondered how Alaska got onto the map of the world? It's a fascinating story. It took a little over 50 years to accomplish, and basically, five cartographers were involved. When Vitus Bering set sail from Siberia in 1741 to find out where the North American continent was, he had to navigate more by fancy than by fact. The best chart available at that time had been drawn 10 years previously by a French astronomer named De Lille. The map showed Siberia and Japan in proper position. But the North Pacific Ocean and North America, all the way to Hudson's Bay, was a blank. De Lille, like the other map makers of that day, had to have a gimmick to sell more maps. For his gimmick, De Lille drew in a small, nebulous area just southeast of Japan called Gamaland. According to De Lille, Gamaland had been secretly discovered by a Spanish navigator named Fonte, who was supposed to have described it as a fabulous island of gold, silver, jewels, and riches beyond description. When Bering left on his voyage of discovery, he was ordered to sail on a course which would take him to Gamaland, if it did exist. Bering wasted time searching for this island where it should have been, according to Lille's map. He finally decided it didn't exist and sailed eastward to discover Alaska. As a result of Bering's voyage, a Russian map of the North Pacific was drawn up. This established the latitude and longitude of Cape St. Elias and a number of islands in the Lucian chain. Three years later, a revised map of the North Pacific was produced in London. This English revision connected with perceptive imagination the coastline of America from California to Cape St. Elias. The cartographer guessed with amazing ingenuity the shape of the Alaska Peninsula and the general outline of the coastline all the way to Point Barrow. This map became the map of the North Pacific. About this same time, a Russian trading ship commanded by Lieutenant Sindo was sent from Siberia to the Aleutians. The lieutenant discovered a dozen or more islands, including Kodiak. His map was studied diligently, and although his latitudes and longitudes were inaccurate, his discoveries added enthusiasm for more voyages of exploration. Now Captain James Cook, as mapmaker number five, comes on the scene. His orders from the British Admiralty were to discover the Northwest Passage. In 1778, Captain Cook did a thorough job of mapping the coastline of Alaska almost to Point Barrow. He definitely established that there was no Northwest Passage through North America. His map, published in 1785, was so accurate that it was used by navigators of all nations until after the purchase of Alaska by the United States. Cook's chart put Alaska firmly into its proper place in world cartography. The fanciful De Lille map that showed Gamelan, the Vitus Bering map, the British revised map, the Aleutian map of Lieutenant Sindo, and the detailed map of Captain James Cook all are a vital part of the heritage of Alaska. The Heritage of Alaska has been brought to you in the public interest by the National Bank of Alaska, your statewide banking institution with 21 locations to serve you. Be with Elmer Rasmussen again next week at this same time when he relates another story in The Heritage of Alaska.